Brian Fly, that's what these are, yeah. What do you have? Bugs of Bounty, no D for me. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> oblivious of sand fleet clouds. Too bad I'm a meat eater. Oh, no. <laughs> Cloud of flying annoyances. <laughs> cloud of flying annoyances. I've been in those recently. <laughs> they weren't flying, but they were certainly annoyances. Okay, anybody else? Resign to the tempest that surround us. Uh, resign to the surrounding tempest of teeming insects. Cool. With his eyes, I just said, why do you put up with, or why do I put up with this? <laughs> <laughs> Here's my being an entomologist. <laughs> one of the, things is, the strategy that flies with so many of them, any one of them not going to be eaten. So the gulls simply open their mouth and they just run through the cloud. And what they say, if they catch five or six a day, that's, that's enough protein to. They're not very good at it. I mean, yeah. It's 100,000 can. Or, 100,000 California gulls come to Mona Lake every year to feed them. We just have to be there at the right moment. Okay. So. Okay, you have an assignment. Okay? You have an assignment. One of the, one of the requests I get lots of times is. Uh, we have an event for something. Can you make a poster for us? So we do. I got one from Fran Hardy from the TNC. He wanted an event spring on the Savannah up in Kankakee. So we made this poster for Fran. Okay. So we have Emma Kwan. So what we're going to do is what I'm going to give each of you. I'm going to give you a template. And you've got there's a horizontal template and a vertical template. What I want you to do is I want you to make a poster of Imaquan. Okay? And bring it back in three weeks. You can glue stuff on it, you can draw it, you can do whatever you want to. But imagine this as a as a big one. So I made one yesterday just for the yachts of it to show you. And I used a quote, uh, which I hadn't used in, in, in class yet, and, and this struck me. This is by Immanuel Kant, and he's writing about Galileo, okay? And he said, all he could see were these smudges in the sky. They are vast, bright, and brilliant, viciously crowded cities of stars. Because once he built the telescope, these smudges became, all right. So I thought about that, and I said, how would you apply that to Imaquan? So here's the, here's the poster. Imaquan, City of Stars, okay? And you use the same quote because you, you, you fly by Imaquan, you see this, and then you begin to focus on it and you see what's really there. So there's a, there's a theme, there's a message, so you need, to, you need to, to think about this. I know you've all got images that will work, you've got quotes, you've got thoughts. So this is your assignment. You have 36 wonderful posters of Imaquan that you guys have been Mark it yourself. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'll just put these back by the rice socks. So, okay, so you had, you said you wanted to say something. Oh, um, <coughs> I'm after lunch, so that means everybody make sure you've read your Leopold essay because you'll get into groups and you're going to discuss it and present it to the others. That way it'll be like everybody has read three essays. So make sure you read your Leopold essay. Okay. I think that's all I have. Okay. All right. For the for the for the rest of the time before lunch, uh, I brought I, I, instead of going on outside on a field trip today, I, I brought a field trip inside for you. I don't know if you know it or not, but there are some extraordinary insects in Illinois and some extraordinary birds. So, a couple of things I want you to do as groups as individuals. I want, I want you to pretend you, you 
see this bird sitting somewhere, and how would you photograph it? Okay, how would you photograph it? Think about where, when, to pretend this is your object, and pretend it's not going to fly away, how would you depict it? And we'll, we'll turn on, we'll get all the lights in here and, and take it outside if you want, I don't care. You're stuffed in 1932, so you've been around for a while. <laughs> well, I want you to use your camera to try to figure out how to deal with it, okay, how to deal with the subject. The other, the other one object that I brought is, is I've got some live, live stuff. I can, right now in Southern Illinois, these extraordinary insects are out. It's called the elephant stag beetle. As far as I'm concerned, this is the state insect of Illinois. <laughs> this is a male. I'm going I'm to I'm put him on this log. He's just going to sit there. And I have his mate. She's very different. And she can pinch. This is one of your own driftwood logs from. Are they alive? Oh, yeah. The beetles are alive. Now, if we went outside, those would be out there maybe, huh? Uh, this has been collected at Sand Ridge, but it's a long, it's long time ago. A long time ago. But, but here's an op here's an opportunity. How would you deal with these things? Hope, hope you're just going to sit there. Those you can't take outside because they're on loan. The gentleman collected me. There's also an organism that's that's a that's an imiquan. This is a dobson fly. She is pissed. That's the female. Unfortunately, the male is no with longer us. with us. Here's the male. <laughs> but he is with us. Yeah. He's with us. He, he died overnight. But look, look at his jaws. Oh, What does that eat? Nothing. Exactly. This is for jousting with other males. So here's the male. She eats whatever. Look at her. I mean, she's. I'll put the male in there, too. Now, I'm sorry. I mean, she won't eat the other guys. Okay. But look at her, I mean, her jaws are lethal. And, and she, she actually feeds because she has to get protein for her eggs. He's just ornament. Yeah. <laughs> Anything that, that she can catch and eat? Small, small activities. Fish? Um, no, insects. Okay. So I'm just going to let you guys go. 45 minutes, 10 30, but. but Really do look at these things, see how you would treat them, you know, and, and try it with your camera. This you can take outside, leave, leave, leave it here. Also, have some and eat your lunch. I've got some others here. Here's a dung beetle, all alive. Here's Betsy Beetle. Hopefully they're just going to mess around out here. <laughs> you know, you have no drift. How can you have not heavy drift? You're trying to find drift like this morning. <laughs> there wasn't any trees up there. Well, the river's up and everything is flooded, you know, so. Yes. Yeah, so but, you know, play with these, look at them, think of them, get your, your thing. You don't have to take pictures of them. Just, Try to try to visualize how you would deal with these things. <coughs> and we'll open up all the, all the windows so there's more light in here.